Children's vaccines, are they safe? Are they relevant? Let's talk about children's vaccines and debunk the myths. Misconception number one. Does natural infection get you better protection as opposed to vaccination against that disease? Although natural immunity from actually getting that disease gives you a protection that is longer and better, but actually getting an infection can pose a big risk and can be detrimental, sometimes even cause death. Measles or champak is a problem in Malaysia. Although it is protected by the National Immunisation Programme, if your child is not yet nine months, he might be subjected to getting this infection from an older child or an older sibling. One in a thousand children who get measles, unfortunately, can become critically ill and have a brain infection. And in that fact, two children in every thousand children who get measles can actually die. As opposed to a child who's been vaccinated with MMR, the risk of actually getting a complication due to the vaccine is one in a million. Which is better, one in a thousand through a natural infection or one in a million through a vaccine complication? Misconception number two. Many feel that if we keep to good hygiene practices, wash your hands, keep away from uh, unwell people, wear a mask, the chances of us getting an infection is very low. Maybe we do not need to be vaccinated. That would not be so in a case of chickenpox vaccine. Because once chickenpox vaccine was introduced in 1995 in the US, a huge drop was noted where the children with chickenpox were hardly getting admitted. There were no more chickenpox. A lot of them were very well, and there were hardly any deaths secondary to chickenpox. Misconception number three. We vaccinate babies as soon as they turn two months old. The earlier we start, the faster we keep them safe. We like vaccinating babies young because they take up the vaccines very nicely and they hardly have any side effects. When we delay vaccines for our babies, we are actually exposing them unnecessarily to treatable and preventable diseases that can become life-threatening to our small babies. In summary, the vaccines have been part of our human struggle against diseases for more than 200 years. And with worldwide vaccination campaigns, we have successfully eradicated smallpox, which we don't even think about anymore. And in some parts of the world, even polio is now forgotten. Mummies and daddies, please remember, while our little ones might have a little bit of discomfort at the site of the injection, or maybe a little bit of fever, it is usually temporarily and very mild. Remember, prevention is better than cure. I'm Dr. Vidya and I hope you liked what you heard today. Please like and share this video.